Welcome. My name is Asta, and I'm an engineer on the Cloud SQL team. In this video, I'll show you how to create, run, and manage SQL instances using Google Cloud SQL. Cloud SQL helps manage mundane administrative tasks from MySQL and Postgres databases, so you can focus on what matters. Let's walk through how to create a MySQL database on Cloud SQL and connect to it from the Google Cloud Shell. You can set up an instance in just a few steps. Let's go through the basics, and I'll point out some options for additional configuration along the way. We'll start by navigating to Cloud SQL in the GCP console and clicking Create Instance. And then next, choose a second generation MySQL database engine. Second generation instances provide better performance and improve management tools like automatic storage increase. I'll name the instance and then set the password for our default account. This instance will be created in the US and we'll leave the zone set to any so Cloud SQL can choose for us. Let's take a look at configuration options. You can specify MySQL version, instance size, high availability, and more. For this demo, I'll choose a four-core high memory instance. Maximizing memory is a good choice for MySQL because it can take advantage of the extra memory for performance. That said, don't worry too much about initial sizing. You can scale the instance up or down later. Let's increase the storage capacity to 200 gigabytes because increasing disk capacity also increases performance. Check out the performance calculator below. As I add capacity, my disk performance increases, which will allow my database to process more operations per second. And I'll enable automatic storage increase so that I don't accidentally run out of disk space. Lastly, let's ensure that the database will automatically provide isolation from failures. We can do that by enabling the high availability configuration, which for MySQL, adds a failover replica in another zone. Now that we're happy with the configuration of our instance, let's kick off the creation. It may take a few minutes for your instance to create. This is a great time to grab a quick cup of coffee. You can also check the status of your instance by navigating to your instance list. Once you see a green check mark, your instance is ready. Looks like our instance has finished creating. Let's open the details page to continue. There are many ways to connect to this instance. Within GCP, for example, we could use App Engine, Compute Engine, or Container Engine. But we could also connect from just about anywhere by authorizing IP addresses or using the Cloud SQL proxy. For this demo, I'll connect using the Google Cloud Shell. Cloud Shell provides command line access to all of your cloud resources such as Cloud SQL instances directly from the browser. To open the Cloud Shell, click Connect using Cloud Shell. As you can see, the relevant gcloud command to connect to your Cloud SQL instance has been pre-typed for us, so all we have to do is press Enter, and then enter our root password from before, and now we're connected. So let's create and insert some data. To begin, I'll create a database. Next, I'll insert some data. Finally, I'll make sure the data is now in our database. And it is, great. So to recap, in the last few minutes, we just created a Cloud SQL instance with high performance and high availability and connected to it with Cloud Shell. Now that you've seen how to get started, give it a try. You can learn more about Google Cloud SQL and our free trial program here. Thank you for watching.